Hi friends, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I'm heading out right now to meet two high school students at a thrift store in Boston. They found me on the internet and they recognized me when I was shopping at their local thrift store. They have started a sustainability club at their high school and they raise money through donations that they receive and they list items on Poshmark and the proceeds go back to their organization. I'm so excited to meet them. Let's hop in the car and I'll see you in Boston. I was trying desperately to avoid drinking caffeine, but I am so tired. I slept for like four hours last night. No, that's exaggerating. Four hours and 45 minutes, I think. So I just had to stop for coffee, but I didn't want to drink too late in the day because it's 2.13 and now I'm afraid that I'm not gonna go to sleep tonight, but I don't know. I just need to drink some coffee. So I just got the Pike's Roast and they had this toasted vanilla oat milk which probably is a few points on Weight Watchers, but I just had my smoothie today, hard boiled eggs. I've had like maybe a point or two today. So it's two o'clock. So I figured I would splurge a little. Just arrived at the location. I know this place only takes cash, um, but they do have like a ATM machine right inside. And if I remember correctly, the last time I came here, um, they didn't have any bags either. So came a little bit more prepared. The last time I came here, I was just totally disoriented. This isn't a part of Boston that I'm real familiar with. So I'm feeling good about today and I have more time to shop. I'm excited to get in there and do some thrifting. Maybe it'll wake me up. The aisles are really tight in this store. It's really hard to have any two-way traffic going on. So I decided to go over to the men's department and see how things were over there and just get a feel for the pricing because it's been a while since I was here last. And as you can see, the, the pricing is pretty good. These are just the regular tag. On this particular day, uh, they had a few colors that were 50% off for anybody 50 or older, I'm right on the cusp. So I'm just gonna take what I want up to the register and I'm just gonna pay whatever they charge me. But I'm not counting on any half off deals. Um, I didn't spend too, too much time over here. Cooperstown made me smile because my son Rocco played um, on a baseball team in Cooperstown right in uh, before his eighth grade year. I almost picked up that Boston sweatshirt. I'm just such a sucker for Boston stuff, although I don't carry a lot of Bruins stuff. Um, this was priced up high and I thought it was really interesting that they actually have security tags on certain things. This is just a Lauren Ralph Lauren sweater for $14.99. I find a lot of thrift stores mark this up. This is what I think is a knockoff Salvatore Ferragamo. They have it priced at $3.99. I really did take time looking at it. Um, but there was just something that kept feeling off to me. Um, the tag inside isn't stitched in. Um, but what really did it for me was the trim. The stitching doesn't look great. There's some cracking. So even if it was authentic, it wasn't in the greatest condition. Um, but I actually do think it was a fake, so I left it behind. Let me know in the comments what you think. These are the girls from the Sustainability Club and they are going through their pile. It's a little hectic for them because some of them, some of the items they're grabbing are for themselves, some are for the club that they raise money for. We had a chance to catch up and chat a little bit, but we didn't spend as much time together as I thought we might. But it was so great to meet them and I love what they're doing with their sustainability club. This is an Amanda Uppertured shirt, which is so funny. This is the third time I have found this brand. Um, and I think it's been my past three trips and it's a brand I had never found before and now I see it everywhere. This is a Rebecca Minkoff bag that I actually, I really liked the style too. I loved the gold chain. I loved um, the diagonal, um, almost chevron feel in the front, but uh, there was some staining on the back so I left it behind. These were a pickup. These were some Abercrombie and Fitch dad jeans for just $4.99. Here I'm just doing some sorting through my cart. This is another pair of Abercrombie & Fitch jeans. These are the um, 90s ultra high jeans and those are really popular style right now and I grabbed those. Those were even less expensive. I think those were $2.99. This is a beautiful sweatshirt from Free People that I found. I was really excited about this. I loved the design on this. I think that was $3.99. So 
I'm just folding this up. It's so important to go through your cart as often as you can make time to go through it because I swear every time I would go through there would be something new I would find on an item that would be a flaw or you know something that caught my eye that I was grateful I didn't end up taking home so always sort through your stuff as much as you can this is a new to me brand called bro denim that I'm going to talk about later these are some of the things I ended up putting back because I wasn't sure about the 50% off and I don't think red was a half off color anyway so this bag was $5.99 I put that back that had been in my cart for a while I really loved this Zara jacket I loved the zippers on the side but this is one of the things I looked over it like three or four times and then at one point it caught my eye that there was some discoloration on the shoulder it was lighter like it had been exposed to too much light see how narrow the um, aisles are see how you can see on the shoulder it's a little bit lighter than the back so that was some fading discoloration so I ended up putting that back and this is just a glimpse of the store as I'm heading out they're still enforcing masks in there, which I'm not really seeing much anymore in Massachusetts, but sometimes the closer you get to the city, the more they require masks. I got 20 items and I spent $77 and 35 cents. I really didn't get to spend much time with the girls. Unfortunately, when they emailed me, I was like in my own zone since we were communicating via email and not text message. And I was going through the racks and they had been there for like 30 minutes before I realized they were there. They sorted their carts a little bit and they were debating on what to buy for themselves and then what to sell through the club. They were great and they were really into the Y2K vibe and um, I learned some stuff from them. My average cost of goods was less than $4 per item. They are really fair with their pricing here and four of the colors were half off for anyone over 50 and I just brought them to the register I didn't say anything and they were kind enough and they gave me the discount I still have remnants of my green drink from this morning and then some coffee what a combo <laughs> it's just starting to um, get a little bit dark but not really so we're gonna head home and I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this haul tonight maybe always love coming to the city love it love it it was a 54 minute ride for me and I'm only I'm less than 25 miles from the city but this was a real roundabout location for me so I, I'm definitely gonna put this in my rotation because I really like it here and the people are really sweet <music> Okay, I'm not sure how the sound quality is gonna be in here, but I'm in my dining room, which is where I always come home and process everything. It's the next day, despite wearing the same um, Rose Apothecary Schitt's Creek sweatshirt that I love to hang out in. I just filmed um, a little cooking demo for my other channel. I did a Greek chicken recipe that my good friend Hope from Rex to Riches gave me, and I'm so excited. It's chicken, green beans, potatoes, and then like a lemon Italian dressing, little mixture, olive oil over the top with garlic in the crock pot. It's raining today, so I think it's gonna be a great dinner. So, so when I got home yesterday, I was toast because I think I mentioned I didn't sleep very well. And this store is much like Salvation Army where they staple stuff. So I took all the staples out and I'm just gonna go through things really quickly. Again, as mentioned yesterday, I spent $77 in change and I got 20 items. Two things that I'm really excited about are these Abercrombie and Fitch jeans. These are kind of a big deal to me. They were really inexpensive. I think one was priced at $4.99 and one was $2.99. So these are a 30 and they are a size 10 long and these are the dad high rise jeans. I love finding long length um, and they are distressed and they're high rise and great. These retail for $98 and depending on the size and the color, these comps went anywhere from $35 up to like $70. It was really impressive that these held their value. And I haven't picked up Abercrombie jeans in forever. And I picked them up at two different times while I was shopping. I'm not sure where my other ones are. The other ones were black. I'll show you those when I get to them. I grabbed these towards the end of my visit and these are just American Eagle curvy mom shorts. They're new with tag. It's a 34 inch waist, size 18. 
I don't always find plus size stuff that I'm really excited about. New with tag, $49.50, and these were $49.95, and these were priced at just $4.99. So I grabbed those, and I would suspect that I'll get somewhere between, you know, $28 and $32 for those. This is a new to me brand, but the comps and ugh, this was a little bit of taking a chance. The brand is called Morella Sport, and you're very far from me. Otherwise, I would, well, I'll come up and show you the tag. Let's do this. I just have to take a little field trip to show you. Morella Sport. Okay, I'm back. Uh, the comps on these vary. The retail on these are like $150. These almost look like riding pants. They're stretchy. They have like the stitching as if they were a riding pant. It has a European tag, size 36, US size six. There was a black pair and there was also a tan pair. So I grabbed both thinking if somebody is interested in these, I'll be able to um, have two in my closet. So they were $5.99 each. I'm also not sure if this is a brand that The Real Real takes, um, but I thought they were worth picking up and they're in excellent condition. So let me know if you're familiar with Morella. I also grabbed this Ellen DeGeneres sweater. This was priced at just $1.99 and I thought it was really cute. It's 95% cotton and then 5% cashmere. It's just ED for Ellen DeGeneres. And it had this cute, adorable dog on the front with a little scarf and he's just so adorable. So for $1.99, I thought I would pick it up. Some of Ellen DeGeneres' stuff is pretty high end. I've sold her sneakers before and they were like $30, nothing crazy, but I'm hoping to get between $25 and $35 for this sweater. Again, I haven't run comp, so, and the reception in that store was terrible. So I just kind of had to trust my gut on a lot of things. Um, this is a Lululemon Swiftly Tech shirt in pink. This was full price. I think this was $3.99. And the size on these is sometimes in the band on the bottom if it's a newer style. And this is a size six. And I know Angie wears them, so she's always my backup with workout wear. This vest is really nice. I definitely want to look on uh, Lulu Fanatics and get the style of this because this is like brand new. It still has the tag. It has absolute zero wear. Some side pockets zipped. It's a very, very faint light ballet pink with light gray. And it's just in fantastic condition. $5.99 for that as well. I got more Lulu. I almost put this one back at the register because I think this was $3.99 and I noticed there was no size on this one. It's just a real basic blue tank, very lightweight. It has like a little bit of like ribbing detail around the edge. I'm assuming it's a size six or four because all of the other pieces that I got from this section that were Lululemon, that's the size they were. I think I got more Lululemon, but it must be buried in here. So next up is this dress, this skirt from Bowdoin. I had a really good week of sales with Bowdoin. Within 48 hours, I sold three pairs of Bowdoin shoes. They were all featured in my last haul um, when I went thrifting near Boston. And yeah, one pair sold for $60, one pair sold for $31, and then another pair sold in a bundle. And um, I'm estimating, even with the bundle price, that they were around the $30 mark. Two of them cost $5.99 and one pair costs like $7 in change, so six and six is 12. Let's even round up and say a $20 investment, and the sales were $120 total if it was like 60 and 30 and 30, and they sold within a week, so they were fantastic. So I'm kind of on a little bit of a pro Bowden phase. This is a really adorable skirt. It's navy blue and like a really like a creamy, light, light tan color. This is also a larger size. It is a US 14 long again. So I was really happy to pick this up. I believe this was also $4.99 or $5.99. They had really reasonable pricing here. Um, so I was excited about that. Oh, this is the other, this is the other Lulu piece. This is my favorite tank top from Lululemon. This is just a racer back tank from Lululemon in this really nice bright coral. I'm not sure if it's showing up here. There's a little piece of um, thread back here. I don't really like filming in here. I'm so used to either filming downstairs or in my other room. I feel like you're too far because I have a dining room table between you and me. Um, and so I don't see sizing on this. This does look very small, probably about 25 
dollars for these tanks. This I was pretty excited about. This brand I'd never heard of, but I saw that ACK was embroidered in the front and that is the little um, abbreviation for Nantucket. And it said Nantucket on the back and it had these fun stars down both sides. I'm like, that is just a really nice sweatshirt. The brand is called Bro Denim by Laura Brodigan. And it looks like this has a little bit of a following and these sweatshirts retail for $68. So Bro Denim is actually a personalized clothing company specializing in high quality custom denim jackets. So each of the patches that you see on this sweatshirt were actually customized and picked out by the person who originally designed it. So this probably cost upwards of $100 for the personalization. They do have a Nantucket collection, but it's a really interesting company. So I'm excited to list this in my store. I did not see any listed. Never heard of that brand before, but you know that I love to carry anything that is local to Boston. So anything from the Vineyard or Nantucket, I love to have in my store. And I think that is just so adorable for summer. It had a price of like $1.99 or $2.99. I mean, if you look at these price tags, nothing was above $5.99 that I purchased. And I got one dress that was priced at $9.99, but it was a half off color. So yeah, the prices were so reasonable here. Okay, so this is a J. Crew cardigan sweater, but it's like a blazer and it's in leopard. This was $4.99 and half off. I just paid $2.50 for it. It is a J. Crew factory because it has the two dots and it is in a size small. This style tends to do really well for me. And I don't know if it will sell for as much because it's a factory label, but animal print always does well. And so I'm pretty excited to see how this does. I'm guessing, I mean, if this were not factory, I would say with a lot of confidence, like $40 to $60. Since this factory, I'm not sure. I hate doing videos without doing research, but I wanted to, um, I just wanted to film this while I was here. This is the other pair of Abercrombie jeans, and these are the 90s straight ultra high rise, and they are a size 31, which is a size 12, and they're also long. So these are in like a grayish charcoal wash, not as much distressing as in the 90s style but similar comps for these. Oh, these have like a little slit up the side. That's really cool. I didn't notice that. Again, I'm anticipating getting about 40 or $50 for these. Oh, so I think when you have sizes that aren't the norm, they may sit longer, but I think sometimes you get more money for them because um, it's supply and demand and there's just not as much selection for people with specific size needs. This was one of my favorite things, and this was just priced at $3.99, regular price, and it's a hoodie from Free People, uh, but there are so many little details that I love about it. Starting with the fact that it's a cropped sweatshirt, but it has like a sweater knit sleeve, oversized in cable knit. It's so nice. And then the detail here, it's also a large. It has this really cool stitching here, and it has braided little um, pull strings. What am I trying to say there? You know when you find free people and I don't know if you can see, but the tag is like brand new. There's no discoloration. Like this is like brand new. So I'm not sure on the style on this, but I'm going to guess that this would probably be like a $40 return. It's so, so cute. And again, I only paid $3.99 for it. So super exciting. I hit this rack with all these Lululemon pieces. I don't know how this is going to do. Um, I do think that this was a half off one. This was $4.99 and then it had the half off um, color tag on it. But it's got the sports bra underneath with the really loose tank over. I really like the color combo of the darker purple like the eggplant with the lavender. It's really nice. I'm not sure about the size on this but this one might be inside the sports bra pipe. Yeah, this is a size 4. I think these were all donated by the same person although some were full price and some had an older tag, so maybe not. If somebody comes into my closet and they like one of the tank tops and I have a bunch of them in there, um, I, it might be a bundle situation where people can bundle a lot of them. I'll probably list them around $28 or $30 depending on what the comps come out to be. But yeah, I'm never disappointed when I find Lululemon. I was excited about this piece and it kind of gave me Johnny Was vibes. This also was a discounted 
color. So this was half off. It's almost semi sheer. It also has a front where you can tie. See how it's like loose in the front? It's just gives you enough space for a little tie. This is a Tasha Polizzi shirt. I'm gonna come around. I have had some really good luck with this brand in the past. It's a size extra large. I would say that it runs small. It doesn't look that extra large to me. I got these Gymshark leggings and they look tiny. They were in the kids section and they were priced for $2.99. I would say the only downside to these is they look like a low rise in the front but Gymshark has a pretty loyal following um, and it also has like the, the defined bum, you know, that kind of makes your bum look even more shapely. You can see where the fabric kind of like curls that way. That Gymshark definitely like is known for accenting the booty. So these, I'm not sure the size on these, there is a tag, but it's like almost like a rubbery tag and the size is worn off, but they're tiny. I mean, they were in the kids section. So they're in really great condition there's no pilling. This is a very classic Gymshark style. So this is the other pair of pants um, from the higher end brand, the Morella that I showed earlier. These are, this is the tan pair. They're really nice. I really hope that I get a decent return on these because they're not the most exciting pair of pants to list. Um, this is just an ASOS dress, but I definitely picked this up on style. I thought it was so beautiful. This was the item that was $9.99 and then half off. How pretty is this dress? It has so much embroidery. I think it would be gorgeous for Easter or a baby shower or dinner out or just anything in the summer. It's so nice. And it's, um, you know, it's probably just knee length. It is a size medium, I think. There are a couple threads that are loose, but it's really beautiful for a fast fashion piece. I don't typically do well with ASOS and I don't always pick it up. So that's it, $77 for those 20 items. I think I'm going to get a really decent return on a lot of those things. And that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I will be back soon with another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.